I am Commodore John Barry. People call me the father of the American Navy. In my time, I have captained many great ships and have taken part in many battles. But there's one battle I remember in particular, when I was not in command of a great ship. It was during the American War of Independence in the year 1778. We were hoping to surprise one of the British ships. They certainly wouldn't be expecting an attack from my little fleet of longboats, rowboats, and barges. Steady, boys. Pistols ready? I called quietly to the crew. We clambered onto the ship, pistols in hand. There was a great uproar. We had surprised the British crew. Blood-curdling screams sounded and pistols fired. And then I saw him. A young boy among the British crew. He was so like my nephew Patrick, it made me think of home. So much, I could nearly smell the Irish Sea in Ross Lair, where I grew up. It brought me back to the day when my uncle Nicholas told me he had found a job for me as a tradesman on a merchant ship, traveling from Europe to the Caribbean. I was so excited. I was 15 years old. I had been working as a deckhand on my uncle's fishing boat, but I was really anxious to move on and to see the world. The cheers and the chanting of my crew brought me back to the present. Sir, we've won! We've won charge of the British ship! It was a fantastic victory, and we later captured two more British ships with that same fleet of small boats. Even so, I couldn't help feeling homesick for Wexford, but I was glad, because thinking about my mother, my father, and Uncle Nicholas had lightened my soul and made me more determined than ever to succeed in my mission.